We've had one hospital birth. Mary was our hospital one. And it, while it was a very good hospital birth experience, it, um, what do you say? Basically in the hospital I felt like a patient. Like a problem waiting to happen. And no longer really had control, I couldn't move around, do as I pleased. I had to abide by all the hospital rules and um, really felt like a lot of things were just out of our hands, even though we were assured ahead of time that we would be in control, would be making a lot of decisions. It didn't end up quite be in that way. It's like night and day. <laughs> um, you know, there was a lot of fear, I think, in the hospital. I think the hospital kind of pushes that fear aspect on you. It's everything's you know, a very, uh, an emergency, a big deal, you know. Um, the home birth is very, it's all about the mother making the choices, going with what feels right, what feels best for you. Um, just a, you know, there's definitely a push for interventions, even if you go in and you say, well, I don't, I want to do this naturally, there's still somebody coming around saying, hey, you know, how about an epidural, you know. So it's just completely, um, the home birth, they're honoring your birth wishes and what you want. Oh, it's it's night and day. I'd never go back to uh, to that type of environment, a hospital environment, if we didn't have to. Uh, it's just a lot more calm and and peaceful, and um, just able to enjoy the time rather than uh, fit into what the hospitals want me to do. There's no comparison. I mean, yeah. there's not. They're it, they're totally different experiences. Um, I mean, I guess you walk away with a child for both, but... Um, a lot more personal having a baby at home. My water broke with, with uh, Archer, you know, went there in the morning, and I felt Brandy had really helped us prepare for, okay, here's what you need to do, here's when you call me, and um, here's what you, until I get there, here's where some things you can help yourself and help the process, and really, we had more control over it, and she really helped us uh, deal with, with it, and it was, I mean, it was great. It was, I think one of the biggest things that stuck with us is they never held the babies. They never, they never hold them. And they stick with you the whole time. And when I, when I didn't have the baby, then they gave them to Mike. And um, I, when we had Drew the first day, when they, when they gave him the, um, the blanket. Yeah, they'll give you the blanket to put in your shirt, and you'll warm the blanket with your body and put your smell on it. And that's the first thing that gets wrapped around your baby. It's so much. It's that's awesome. It is. It's pretty amazing. It's more than just a medical thing. It's a bonding and a right. family experience, and right. they put more of that into it.